Ladies and gentlemen, this for a gaming silicon video. Would you agree that virtual reality is everywhere? Well, I certainly would. Microsoft are actually utilizing technology that they actually developed a couple of years ago for game streaming for what is known as Project Erides, which is a virtual reality headset, and it's actually kind of cool. So this is actually kind of complicated, but it goes into cloud streaming. So I might well do a full breakdown of this over the next couple of days. I've been super duper busy um, the last couple of days, hence the reason I've not been doing too much content. Effectively, I'm getting someone else up and running so they can be producing articles and videos for us, and they're going to be really interesting stuff, very different from what we normally have on the channel. Uh, this is going to be more uh, guides and that type of thing for the latest games, which are going to be kind of interesting, I think. And I've additionally been writing scripts for my Tech Simplified, which is most likely going to be Vulcan and one other thing. I'm not 100% settled on the second item yet, but I will figure it out over the next day or so, because I need to write many words and many iterations. But anyway, getting back to um, the Cliff Notes version of this. So Project Erides actually leverages some of the technology Microsoft are utilizing with Kawaii technology. Um, I'll get into what that is in just a second. So last year, Microsoft were reported to be working on virtual reality headsets, and they actually sent out prototypes to developers. Fast forward to this year, in fact, just a couple of days ago, Neowin covered Microsoft unveiling Project Erides. Now, this research endeavor is to actually improve virtual reality headsets using um, Kawaii technology. So what is that? Well, it utilizes technology where data is streamed from the cloud um, and then sent to the device. Microsoft originally were utilizing this for mobile gaming. The idea was to off actually offload processing cycles, particularly from the GPU, to the cloud, render it, and then send it back. It's kind of an interesting technology, actually, and in a nutshell, there are two methods this works. The first technique is that the mobile device renders each frame, but obviously it doesn't do so in all the shiny detail, and then the cloud will actually deliver the rest of the detail. So, in theory, it kind of draws in the basics, and then it scribbles in the, the extra details. You can think of it like that. And the second option is the mobile device renders a subset of frames while the cloud streams the missing frames in. Now, how many frames that the device renders versus how many is streamed in depends. Um, and it's going to be utilizing the infinitely well-known H.264 technology. For all intents and purposes, Kawaii in this particular case, however, will be utilizing a predictive graphic processing. You can consider it to be a likelihood-based situation. So, in theory, it will predict player inputs and then render parts of the image at higher quality based on what they're, what they're actually thinking that they're going to look or interact with. Now, of course, you could immediately tell the problem with this in that if you're not if the software doesn't predict what you're going to do, so if it predict, and this is a very simplified version, but if it predicts you looking left, but you're looking up instead, then you're going to be in for some latency. But it's kind of cool, and theoretically, developers are testing it, and in testing it in Doom 3, participants apparently came away extremely impressed with the experience and, noticed, and mentioned a notable difference in both quality, latency and overall experience when the techniques were used to render the game in virtual reality. It's worth noting that Microsoft are already working on HoloLens and I'm sure everyone knows about HoloLens so I'm not going to go already into that but it's a bit unknown whether this project is going to be for a different piece of hardware, whether it's going to be to improve HoloLens, in other words, it's going to be augmenting HoloLens, or whether it's something a little bit different. No one knows. In other words, Microsoft are possibly going to unveil more at E3. I bloody well hope they unveil more at E3. So, do I like this idea? Well, kind of. There is some scepticism from myself when it comes to cloud at the moment. For reasons such as latency, particularly for those of us with poorer connections, those of us with better connections, it's not too much of a big deal. 
but if you happen to be screwed, pretty much, then you're going to be in for some problems. I also have some issues with cloud because of games as a service, which isn't really a problem necessarily with cloud gaming as a whole, but more that I think cloud gaming definitely gives developers that much more control. But as a service, particularly for devices which have a finite amount of power, for example mobile devices, or in this case virtual reality, let's assume, because details are a bit sketchy right now, it's very likely that this is going to work quite nicely with the Xbox One. But let's just be totally honest here, there is a finite amount of performance that the Xbox One has. You know, its GPU, at the end of the day, is not going to be um, increasing in performance. And if you look at, let's say, Project Morpheus, or any of the virtual reality devices that are out, they all have some limits. Even, let's say, Oculus Rift, it has a limit in that if you want, you know, the best high-resolution graphics of everything to be at max, it's going to require a really, really beefy PC. There's concessions that have to be made somewhere or another. I think it could be kind of cool. I have to confess that I really didn't like Connect. I thought it sucked. Um... I've used Connect around friends' houses. I've got my own Xbox One. I just don't have Connect, but I have used Connect around friends' houses and stuff. It's kind of, kind of got the novelty factor, but I just wasn't that interested. And I felt like that even when the original Connect was unveiled for the Xbox 360. But virtual reality um, is very different from motion controls. I've never liked motion controls at any title, and obviously some people thought that they were going to be the future. But I just kind of didn't like them. Virtual reality, on the other hand, maybe motion controls will work better with virtual reality when they're more refined. But VR is awesome. Um, or augmented reality as well could be pretty awesome. And I'm extremely excited about HoloLens and virtual reality as a whole. I'm a little more cautious when it comes to Project Morpheus or a console-based VR simply because of the limited performance that the systems have, so maybe cloud could be an option in that respect, but obviously it does depend on just how excellent this prediction is and how much latency slash image quality loss you're going to get, because at the end of the day, if it's streaming in data, it will have to undergo some, some compression, although maybe that will also depend on your connection. I'm just making a little bit of an educated guess there. I'm not um, you know, tried it out or anything like that. But anyways, hopefully you have found this video somewhat informative. For now, I'm going to get going, so take care and have an excellent day. If you can do the normal likey, the commenty, and the sharey, I would be very appreciative, but take care.